right corner and the one left, look where the left back, the whole life. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you know you have to have this the, 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 the good cut them, you know? What is called the marbling. You see that little piece and then something there? Yeah. That little piece right there, so. Yeah man. So you can see man you just open up that bucket and a beer pork was season for, for how long from Wednesday. So you know so it's soaked in, marinated well, pimento, all of that scallion, all of that onion, all of the spices that we're known for for you jerk. Can't tell the people all of the secrets. Me not tell them everything, me not tell them everything. Well seasoned. And it's not a high flame where you have it pun, you just have it a uh, go and trot. Yeah man, slow. So that is why, you know, a lot of people come and do the pre-cook and stuff. No, I don't do that. No, no pre-cooking no, jerk. No pre-cook, man. All natural, low heat for a few hours. Right. So, go and get the chicken started now. So give me a piece. You can see that him just load up that grill with all of that meat onto it. And after that, he just set it and forget it. Let that low flame work its way into it. The smoke from the coal and everything. And then after that, you know, it's a juicy, spicy jerk chicken. You can't wait for some of that. The smell already arise up as the meat touch the fire. That smell just captivate and take over. The smoke's coming up. You need all of that when you're cooking jerk. Jerk chicken, the same thing. Same process, brother. Yes, sir. No overnight thing, no hurry done thing. Here, the sizzle on it already, man. So, this fire is a little higher than the, than the, pork, than the pork. Yeah, man. So, we have been marinating the evening of the juice. Look at the juiciness, still, man. So, you know, it's a spoke. Yes, man. All the seasoning on it, everything, the pimento, the pepper, everything blended out. So yeah, I'd give them a secret, so That's man. Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> a little thing, man. Just a little thing. A sneak preview, and I'll give them a full feature. No, sir. You can give them a one more secret now. But you see, uh, see juice are leaving at the pan. I eat your use and base it while it's being grilled. You know what I say? So that no over season, no nothing. Nah, sir. When I waste nothing. Yeah. So how long? So I will get the next check in about 15, 20 minutes. You understand? Got I'm going to set this fire a little bit higher. So we have to give it a little bit more time. Or a little less time, rather. So, two of them up and running now. So we'll give some time. Soup, soup, what? Check on it. I said check on the soup. What kind of soup are going over? Well, oh, you know, sir, some pumpkin, cow skin, and beef. We are doing an idea. So the, all right, so, so the water ready, you know. We'll start adding the things, you know, you know. I'm going to give them an early flip because I look at color I go for them already ah. Look at them grill marks on the one there Yes man <laughs> Alright so this is the pork belly So at this part you have the rib Then you have, just have the meat Then you have the marble Then you have the skin so this part of the meat is the juiciest part of the pork. So yeah. catch that on the side. side. Yes man. Special order that piece, you know. It might earn, turn out to be mine, but hey. I think I might want that. <laughs> Same thing with the chicken. We give it an early flip. You know we don't want it to stick on the grill because you have you, you want the skin to just get it the perfect colour. Yo, Everything to soak I mean, in. right now you're turning the chicken and the smell. I mean, it's not a smell of seasoning that is powder. It's a smell of natural seasoning. Like, you know, you don't want me telling me ingredients, but yeah. I tell you, man, 
Down to the skelly and a pop up for me. Yeah, man. <laughs> Saturday season is my baby. You know, started from a house and then it just expanded. You know, so I started because it happens the last Saturday of every month. This is actually the year's finale. So, but starting back in January, the last Saturday every month, I cook, I come out, I bring all of my cuisines from chicken, pork, shrimp, lobster, fish, everything, man. So, that Saturday season is my baby, and I'm going to let it grow. Now we're on a cell phone. Yeah, man, the pepper are rising at that. No, no, no more on that tonight, you know. Boss, how come to boss? What's the fire boss here? Water boss here. You say just I check the soup pot now. Yes, man. Come on, all of the food, the cow skin, the beef. You get some pork and some flour, you know? Yeah, man. So we make that go and boil. So everything come together. You know, the pimento pan top. You can't yeah, cook without pimento. <laughs> After you have a spice. You can see that it's just constant care and constant looking at the fire. Looking to make sure that everything get a touch, every piece of it get a flavor, every part of it have a touch of seasoning, have a touch of flame, so everything cooks evenly. It's not easy to cook a large amount of meat like that. The care that you see him put into it, down to the soup pot, you can see the passion for the food, the passion for the jerk, the passion for flavors. You hear it when him talk about the soup, the ingredients, the spices, everything that is in there. And I can tell you that the smell is just absolutely amazing. I mean, if you want a different type of a jerk experience and just going out to the local jerk restaurants which are also amazing come check out manzi once a month down at the scissor man it's it really is a flavor explosion when you start it and you know say him love just like we love enough pepper you know what i like to say it's a constant dance of fire and smoke and you just have to find the right rhythm and the right balance to make sure say every part of every flavor get a touch Smoke on the fire, you know? Look at those grill marks that you're getting on them. Generally, we don't see grill marks on jerk, you know, because we put it out there and we just allow it to sit and, and flavor up. But these are just at the right temperature, we're getting some immaculate grill marks. Mm -hmm. But also, you can smell everything starting to. Yeah, man. You can almost taste the jerk between it. I mean, you know when you enter a jerk center and you smell that from before you reach the gate? It have that awesomeness about it. That one here alone, if you're in a bush, this pull away anywhere there. Make sure you have a forward feed. Smell everything you taste, you can't resist it. Yeah. Fancy production, you know? Right, so this are the... Yo, so we use and with the chicken, yeah? So you don't know, this is the chicken itself, so same season, same blend, everything, right, same way on it, nothing has changed, everything, aye, yeah, just like that, alright. So you say you just wet the chicken with that, yeah, man, make sure so the chicken stay moist and them things. Alright, catch it, that is how we do it, yeah, so, now really. Cooking style. No rush, no fuss. What I did, I bought a bottle, you know, have it sanitized and cleaned, pour the juice out of it, you know, with a little cranberry flavor. But this is the base of it, so it is already sanitized and sterilized. So this is what I use as the base. The base is some blended seasoning that I did for myself. So this is what I, I blend my seasoning, you know, I make the marinade for it. So the same juice that was seasoned from the pork. This is what I use to base it, so it doesn't lose any flavor at all. Yeah. 
You say you just add some more so to the pot. Add a little seasoning right here and put a little some spice in the pot, make it go on. Cook with a little flavor and spice, you know. So that's how we do it, you know. A little flavor. Constantly adding more and more flavors, layer and layer upon layer. So as one stop, cook another one going until the end, till everything cook. I get some spinners inside right you know? Body up the soup, I make the soup of somebody in you know? Spinners, if no, 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 a good old fashioned flour mm -hmm. and water, good old dumpling. Oh, Not true, Sean? Mm -hmm. Come on, flour, man, a little bit of salt, you know, you put a car meal in it. You knead it up properly, soft and nice and moisture. Then you spin it up like this, you know? You need a pinch like this. So roll it. Spinners. Spinners. Hold it, hold it again. Pinch. Roll it. And then spinners. So spinners. So why them call it spinners? Three you just spin it off a and put it in a pot, huh? Yeah, just like that. Mm. So I'm gonna do it. So while wanna serve, wanna. All right now, some corn, some good old corn. Yeah, man. Yeah. So this one I just want pot of soup, or no? I don't want a bill of pot. A bill or not a bill of pot. Pot of soup. So can you want more, you know? <laughs> yes, I want more this day. Want more. Want more. Good old drink, you want more. Want more. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how are you going on for third? You know my petition. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Mm. Yo, this tastes so good. Mm -mm. All the herbs and spices. So, Manzi, how many of these you usually go through? Like, I know this is just one batch. Um, maybe about four or five batches because it's a hundred pounds of pork. So it's a hundred pound of pork yeah, you are going through today. A hundred pounds of pork. So, you know, and I try to get the pig, not a whole pig, nice young suckling pig, so the meat is tender right through. So, it works, man. So you have, look at it. See the juice running out of it? See? Yeah. What is that now? That are just juice in this account. Juice. Yeah man. Nice and tender. Flavors. Flavors running out from all parts of it. So it's seasoned to the bone. I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Yo, for work through the smoke, I don't know, easy thing, you know. Ah, man. A constant smoke. But, but it's that's for the love. It's for the love and it's for the process. I mean, yeah, you're doing jerk, you have to have that. Yeah. So, cover him down again. So, you're getting that nice color. Steaming right through. Everything's going to be soft from the skin to the bone. Everything. The pork is kind of getting ready. So, you can't really have much fire on it to, you know, try it out too much but I need moisture you know yeah so you, you put the higher flame to the right for the sausage to the right for the sausage the section where the sausage is yeah man yeah man right for one time yeah man so set it you know that smoke is just intense I mean by the time you go home, you stink a jerk, but it's such a good smell to stink up. I mean, at least the wife can't cause so you stink a rum or not. <laughs> All right, so let's cover him again, you know? Mm. You know, have to keep stir this down now, you know, want if it will stick up and burn, you know, so you have to keep on getting a stir regular thing, you know? So in order for it not to burn, you just keep on and stir it. Why? Because the food settles to the bottom. Yes. 
Him say him have to continue stirring it because all that food in that pot that you saw going there, it going down into the bottom of the pot and that flame under it, you don't want it to stick, you don't want you don't want the soup to burn. So in order for that not to happen, no, I'm just constantly stirring it, checking it every minute, every second, let him get a chance from the pork or something else. And come over and just make sure say uh, nothing to stick to it so that everything sort out. Yo, I can't get over the smell. Every time I'm rise a pot, so the amount of seasoning, natural seasoning, the pimento, the skelly and them, the onion, I'm going to cut up some more thyme. And some okra. Okra is going to go on it, right? Yes, yes, yes. And cow skin. Oh, yeah. Cow skin in there. Yep. Look at that. Oh. So wow. Yo, this is a sexy soup. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. This is a sexy soup. Good old Saturday soup where your, where your good, granny used to cook. Good. Yeah, man. Saturday soup. Good old Saturday soup. Saturday soup. soup. Yeah, man. Saturday soup. Yeah, man. Everything. So the body, the texture. Oh, God. Yeah, man. I'm having anxiety. <laughs> How long for the soup? You know, Jamaica here. Lick a bit of time. Oh, far we reach, round the corner. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so we can't have them far and wide doing it. <laughs> and just when you think the soup pot was just about to be ready, it come with more seasoning for it. As I said, just adding layers and layers of flavor onto that flavor that is already in there. So I'm coming now with some okra, with some scallion, with some thyme and some more garlic. Got to stir, you know? yeah. stir it up, man. Yeah. Tell you. Feeling of the soup in the pot. Oh, a little bit of wine. You know. Up now, chef. Why? You got to test it, you know? You know? You got to test the soup now. Yeah, man. Everybody, everything in right now, the whole of the seasoning, it's perfect. Yes, man. Oh, God. Yes, uh, flavors unite. Unite, man. Wait a minute, now put back this in the pot. Go and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Mm. Yes, man. It's the flavor, the pepper, mm -hmm. everything, man. Yeah, man, right. Right. So, make you go and do what you do. Then the next hour. Let's say about the next five minutes, you add a little salt to get the flavor balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Most good chefs do it. <laughs> For the food boss. Blows and skirt. Hot, enough, brother. <laughs> Hot, but that piece, look at that. You can see all of that on it already. Look at that. That's the crust that you're looking for when you get the smoke flavor. All of that smoke makes that crust and it, em it embraces the meat and allows it to be succulent on the inside. That's how jerk is supposed to look. And a good old pork oil for me, honey. I can't get better than that. <laughs> when I take, take my first bite into some of the, the jerk pork, that manzi just take off of the grill, you can see. Yeah, man. Oh, gosh. Worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. The amount of jerk flavor that is on that is amazing. And you get pepper on it. A lot of jerk places don't like to give you pepper, they like you to add your own pepper. Manzi has his own sauces as well, but the spice on this is just right. It's not too much, it's just perfect, it's not overpowering and making you want to run for something for drink. It is something that is, oh, wow. Yo, yeah man. Respect, brother. Yeah man. Respect. Hey, Manzi, what we say when we get pork like this? Who beg now get? Who no, who no beg no one? <laughs> Oh, 
far going on, sir? We have some festival, we have some fish. So you have festival and fish as well. Yeah, this is the done festival. Alright. Yeah. So what are the options where you get them now? So you get festival as a side. Festival or bread. Bread fruit. So the bread fruit them over there, sir. Press plant. And press plant I'm gonna cut so up our, the bread fruit. Our, our, our style of bread fruit is a little bit different. So it's you know, ripe bread fruit. Ripe bread fruit. Yeah. And so that me love. So the ripe or the sweet yeah. of the bread fruit. Sweet, I be. Yeah, man. And just, it's not high enough. Take one, two minutes to take out. So, and it's so, still so, juicy. So we don't, we, juicy. we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't roast it, then fry it like how traditional Jamaicans normally do it. So we get the ripe bread fruit and peel it, and then we we'll fry it. So you'll see that in a short order. So we're just getting the bread fruit prepared right now. And this is the bread fruit. Yeah, man. You can feel it, it's nice. Yeah. Nice. What a bag of pepper on so too. You can't have jerk and have a whole heap of pepper around the place, you know. So this is fried bread fruit with a syrup on the side. Too. Yeah man, fried bread fruit, festival, press planting. You know, so the festival being fried, that is a festival dough. So you know it's a process. You yeah know man, what I'm yeah man. All the way. We have some excavated fish over here, so what we do? And it's already. So you serve fish as well, Pan. Yeah, this is. Yeah, man. Yeah. The vinegar and the pepper and the onion. Boy. Yes, man. You know how we do it, man. <laughs> Only one way. It's an entire process going on, not just outside where you have the pans, but inside you have the sides being done on the stove, the frying of the breadfruit. And he has a festival frying up as well. He say he bread as well to soak up some of that juice and some of that sauce that him have that you pour over the chicken as well. So it's a full on takeover of the kitchen down here at Pinchers when Manzi has his Saturday sizzle. And you can see still sizzling are the pots and inside everything sizzling in there in the frying. Yeah man, the sizzle coming out again. Yes man. You can see why your name is at the sizzle man. Yes, All the pot sizzling. Out. Everything sizzling. And you can see how the colour is coming together, that skin as well. Yes man. It's starting to crisp up. You can see the moisture leaking from the board, still full of juice after that long cook. So you know it's tender. The outside have the crispiness of the skin. You can see the little black parts on it that crack up right there. That are the flavor, that are some of the pimento and some of the seasoning that has cracked up on it. And you know, say, so half a serve it in a while. Full flip. And wrap up the goodness. And fire in your hand, Miguel, after that. Hot, hot soap, that hot soap. Look at the juiciness still in that meat. That is amazing. Look at that. The constant rehydration of pouring back some of the seasoning back onto it and making it cook. The others going out, them still stoking the fire, working the pot, them working the pan, them and still pushing out food, them taking some off because so much others coming in now they had to take some that's ready on to make space for some that needs to cook because of that long cooking time and all of the process that you see that you have to go through to make sure that the flavors come out in it and it has the right consistency the right heat the right crust the right bark everything from the pork and the same goes for the chicken mm. yeah man whole heap of body very thick and you do have that spice but the spice is not overwhelming it have a lot of flavor it have the body it have the base in there but trust me all of the seasoning mixing up in it very nice so sit for a while mm. never want to take mine off of the pot right as it did finish take it off i would like when my own sit down for a little bit 
so that some of that flavor can go out into it and settle in there before it doesn't have a lot of salt either I mean it's a very nice soup apart from the meat from the from the cow skin and stuff like that you wouldn't I mean you could pass it off as a vegetable soup to tell you the truth wicked Big man, how we are? How we are? How we are? Yeah, man. You're done. You, you already know how we do it. That a rotted snapper, you say? Yes, man. That a fissile, but this a fissile. This a fissile. <laughs>